Good evening. My name is Judge Anthony C. Kiriakopoulos, but most of you know me as Judge Tony. I would like to thank everyone for tuning in to tonight's event, the Hellenic Foundation's annual Grant Awards. This year, the Hellenic Foundation is happy to announce that it is awarding a total of 345,000 in grants to 23 not-for-profit organizations. Each of these grants embrace the mission of the Hellenic Foundation to fund the development and support of programs and projects benefiting the Greek, American, and Orthodox Christian organizations in the Chicagoland area. At this time, I'd like to introduce the co-chairman of the Hellenic Foundation's Grant Committee, Mr. Nick Geroulis and Mr. William Branis. Thank you, Judge Tony. Recognizing the need to keep young people engaged with the church as they transition to adulthood, the Greek Orthodox Metropolis of Chicago has developed an engaging program through its youth and young adult ministries called Lighthouse. Built by a committee of clergy, theologians, youth workers, college professionals, and psychologists, Lighthouse seeks to foster growth of campers' understanding of God, self, and neighbor during a crucial time of their lives. Lighthouse is an inviting and thought-provoking program that stands as a beacon to young people in search of more meaning in life. Let's take a look. Oh, what is Lighthouse? Lighthouse is probably the most important youth ministry because it acknowledges the most important transition period possibly in a person's life. And instead of us as a church offering nothing or just to be a counselor, we say, we are here with you, we will walk with you, and you have a space and a place to ask questions, to be empowered, and to build community. It's critical for our young people. So we have theology professor, we have scripture professor, we have psychologists coming to talk, we have a faith and science expert. We've invited all these amazing people in our metropolis to come and share their wealth of knowledge, giving them an opportunity and access to knowledge they otherwise wouldn't have. And so what we do is, throughout this one week camp, we hit head on the social, emotional, practical, and spiritual challenges that we know they're facing as rising 12th graders and graduates and will face on a deeper level through late night devotionals where we talk about the tough topics of life, through having theological level professors answer the whys around faith, around scripture, around tradition, around orthodoxy in general, by having mental health professionals come and give us their orthodox framework and understanding of what they're going to face emotionally. Um, even having um, a scientist come in and share with us how faith and science aren't mutually opposed and, and support each other. So helpful for the rising freshman who's going to definitely face questions about faith. I really wanted to dive deeper and understand like the intricate details of our faith from professionals and the seminars have really helped me dig down and understand why I believe what I believe. You're with mature people, you're treated like an adult, and you're able to ask questions in an environment where no one's snickering in the background or like everyone wants to know the same stuff. You're all at the same point in your life. And it's really nice to have this right before college. I feel like I have people I can go to for questions and just a general support system. There is such a big gap and there's so much knowledge that's waiting to be learned by these incoming freshmen. It's really a way for campers to take away how they can use their faith every single day when they step out into whatever this next phase is for them, whether it's college, trade school, working right away. They're understanding how they can use their faith and how it applies to them on a day-to-day -day basis as young adults. And I think that's really important, really necessary in our day and age. One of the most important things for a young person at this stage in their life is to know that there is more than one way to be involved in the life of the church. And we have a lot of amazing young people who have a, a desire and a love for Christ and they want to share that, but they're not quite sure you know, how they can do that and still be 
computer scientist or still be a chemical engineer or still be an accountant or whatever it may be. So I think part of what we really want to communicate to the young adults is that they can integrate their Christian identity into their plans for the next phase of life, really regardless of what that may look like. To be able to offer that to our young adults as they're beginning this next phase of life, I think is uh, at the very core of what Lighthouse is all about. My hope is that our Lighthouse campers leave with a greater understanding of who they are, what their purpose is, a greater understanding of orthodoxy, and also the knowledge that they can reach out to us and that we want to continue to build relationships with them in the future and that we're there for them as mentors. Last year's Lighthouse was unbelievable. It was so beautiful to see this group of campers come together, form such strong bonds, leave saying that their lives were changed, that they have a, a deeper sense of faith, that they felt so confident going into the next stage of life. And then now we're seeing them coming back and they're leading. We have Lighthouse campers who are serving on five-week Finari staff. Our, one of our former campers is our intern this year for Lighthouse. They're present, they're engaged, they're serving, and they're leading in our church. And that's all we could ask for. Seeing how their relationship grows over time, it's beautiful seeing how they dive even deeper into their faith and the theology of, this, of their church. And it's a blessing to see how they have changed my life. The type of relationships built at Lighthouse are authentic, they're intimate, they're personal, and they are unique unto themselves because they are authentically orthodox. And so what happens at Lighthouse in a week in terms of relationship building might be something that would take years outside of this camp. Lighthouse would not have started without the Hellenic Foundation's support. For the Hellenic Foundation, it's not cutting a check and saying, you're welcome. It's saying, how can we work together with our resources, ministry leader resources, financial resources, hierarchical resources, and find a way to help connect our young people to Christ as they walk through their lives, and specifically in Lighthouse, as they walk through an important rite of passage. Lighthouse is knowledge, friendships, and relationships you didn't know you needed. I feel like I've made a little family since coming to Lighthouse. Lighthouse is a beautiful beginning to the rest of your life. The Hellenic Foundation grant will help fund the continuation of the Lighthouse Camp, an eight-day camp ministry for rising college freshmen to help them carry the light of Fanari Camp into their college years. We'll also fund the continuation of the Fanari College Student Reunion, which encourages continued engagement of Fanari Camp alumni as they emerge into adulthood, and produce a comprehensive camp ministry workshop book which will be a conduit for engagement and workshop to all Fenari campers. Before we get to our next grant award recipients, I'd like to introduce you to our executive director, Mr. Peter Velasiris. What started as a vision to provide senior care and housing for our Greek elders, the Hellenic Foundation has evolved into a multifaceted social service provider and a resource for an even broader range of people programs within Chicago's Greek and Pan-Orthodox community. Tonight, we are here to honor the 2022 Grant Award recipients, whose programs directly benefit our community. A community is comprised of neighbors, friends, and family. When we support food programs that feed the needy, there is an opportunity to welcome the person in need as a friend and neighbor. When we provide shelter, clothing, and needed assistance, to a person in a critical situation, it is done with neighborly love, compassion, and concern. When we provide home care for our senior citizens, they are treated with the same care and compassion that we would give to our own family members. When we support programs for the youth and young adults in our community, such as Fenari, Lighthouse, and OCF Chicago, these kids become like our own children. The essence of all that the Hellenic Foundation has done since its beginning is to love thy neighbor. This mindset starts with our president, the officers and directors, and filters down to every staff member. 
With this in mind, let's take a look at our senior care program. Retaining one's dignity and quality of life are essential for all senior citizens, regardless of their financial means. These are the motivating reasons why the Hellenic Foundation began its in-home care program in 1996. Today, the Hellenic Foundation's in-home care program proudly serves over 250 clients across Chicagoland who come from many diverse cultures and speak over nine different languages. The quality of care that we provide can be directly attributed to a staff that is committed to treating our clients as family. Every day I have the pleasure to ensure the well-being of our clients, making sure their needs are being met. But it's so much more than that. We bond as friends, forming mutual trust, respect for one another. The work we do drastically improves their quality of life, and I wouldn't trade that for anything. At Hellenic Foundation, we believe the best caregiving starts with trust and comfort. Our caregivers hear about their lives, their families, they do errands with them, grocery shopping, they cook together, play board games together. Truly our clients are an extension of our own families. Our goal is to ensure that the seniors we care for remain safely in their own homes for as long as possible. This is accomplished by matching our clients with the best fit in-home care aides we have who speaks the same languages, share similar cultural backgrounds, and have the necessary training to address their needs. We have a diverse staff with the ability to serve so many different people that language is no longer a barrier. It's our bridge to connecting and growing our family. And I'm very proud to be a part of that. We are blessed because the state of Illinois has funded a program to take care of our aging seniors. This affords the senior the opportunity to be taken care of by a loved one or a trained professional in the comfort of their own home. It is not only a duty, but a privilege to take care of our seniors. If you are struggling to find the time and means to care for your loved one, the Hellenic Foundation is here for you. To qualify for our free services, you must be at least 60 years old, an Illinois resident eligible for Medicaid, and meet low income requirements. If you're interested in learning how to care for your loved one, and be compensated for your time, apply on our website or call our offices today. As you've just seen, at its core, the Hellenic Foundation is all about senior home health care. We understand the difficulties and confusion that come with caring for loved ones in their homes and appreciate any program that helps those who do. The Hellenic Foundation grant will fund two half-day seminars open to all churches of the metropolis. The seminars will provide valuable information on senior home health care, including the special needs of seniors and family members, age-related legal issues, physical therapy, and the importance of emotional and physical support for caregivers. Seminars will also include question and answer sessions with health care professionals, information regarding Medicare, Medicaid, VA, and local senior service options, and of course, senior in-home care services provided by the Hellenic Foundation. I'd like to introduce my dear friend, Mrs. Joanne Stavrikas, a board member of the Hellenic Foundation and a past Metropolis of Chicago president of the Philoptohus, as well as a past third vice president of the National Philoptohus Society. Over the years, individuals in critical situations or others on their behalf have contacted the Hellenic Foundation for various forms of assistance. Sometimes it's as basic as shelter, food, and clothing for someone in dire straits. To better address the urgency of those situations, this board of directors established an emergency fund that provides the executive director the ability and flexibility to help. To meet other needs, the Foundation has forged an excellent working relationship with the Metropolis Philoptohos Philanthropic Committee and HELAS, the legal clinic of the Hellenic Bar Association. The Foundation recognizes the skill, expertise, resources, and devotion of these organizations and their members, and is both proud and thankful for the opportunity to work with them towards addressing the needs of our community. These collaborative efforts 
are for one purpose, to provide desperately needed help for members of our community who are in the situations that are beyond their ability to resolve. Let's take a look at how this collaboration actually works. What's important about all of us being here today is because we need to be involved in the community utilizing the skill sets in our community, the importance of our community, such as the full opticals, such as HELAS, the legal assistance pro bono program. It's critical because the needs extend beyond our ability, but allows Hellenic to support those needs, to, to do what it can do and provide the financial support to supplement what these this collaboration can provide. When Hellenic Foundation gets a call of someone in need, I will immediately forward them to the Metropolis Philopticals. They have the skill sets, the background to investigate and determine the actual needs of the community, or it may be an issue of legal matters. So I can turn to Eleni with regard to Halas and, and what capacity Halas uh, can provide. So what we try to do is once you know you call us, um, and give us an information or contact us about a case. Then we try to speak to the client um, and then try to ask them for information. So we'll send out a form that they have to complete or we'll help them complete the form so that we can figure out all of their basic information of what their needs are and or how the parish might be able to help and we work together to figure that out. And it's not necessarily um, a hand out but a hand up and helping them to address a specific uh, difficult situation in their lives. Our churches, our priests have used you as someone to lean on when we're over our head with a legal matter, with parishioners that many times don't have resources, and we're grateful. We've served over 400 families since we opened our doors in 2016, and I think our volunteer attorneys really love being able to assist those and, and make our community a better place. At the end of the day, that's why we created our organization. It's, it's to help our fellow brethren. When someone reaches out to us and says, hey, we know someone, we know a family, they need some legal assistance, we look into the matter, we assign one of our volunteer attorneys and, and try to help them navigate through their legal issues. And sometimes they just need advice, sometimes they do need representation in court. It's scary being in, thrown into a legal process and sometimes they just need to be heard and sometimes it's a very simple fix that an attorney can handle. There's no Hellenic Foundation in any of these other metropolises. There's no pro bono legal association in any of these other metropolises. So I think we're very blessed and we want to work together and really help these families. And, and obviously as we work together we'll be more uh, more capable of helping people. You know, you can only help someone so much on your own. As, as we work together and collaborate, I think we can do a lot of good. What makes Hellenic different is that our resources are totally committed to the Chicagoland area. And it allows us then to supplement what you need to get done at, through the Philopticos in a timely manner. Because a lot of the collaborative efforts are that we deal with situations with urgency individuals who are in, in immediate need and are in critical situations. And then we work with Philopticos, we work out the details, we work out the collaborative efforts, if it's need of a purchase of a cemetery plot or whatever, and working with Father and working with, with Halas, we can take care of that financially immediately and then work out how our collaborative relation details the collaborative relationships afterwards. And I think that's what really makes this click nicely, is there's not a concern about money. The money's taken care of. And I think that's what's fun about this working relationship. You know, if there's an example of philoptimal, this is really it. Addressing the needs of our community at that time when it needs to be addressed, period. I'd like to talk to you now about something near and dear to my heart, HELAS. HELAS is a legal clinic created in conjunction with the Hellenic Bar Association and the Hellenic Foundation, organized to address the legal needs of low-income members of our Greek American community that also provides pro bono services to those in need. This clinic 
met on a monthly basis at the Hellenic Foundation in Chicago, giving direct access to legal information, referrals, and potential legal representation in a linguistically and culturally sensitive environment to those in need. Despite the challenges of COVID, Halas has provided advice and counsel in the areas of domestic relations, immigration, estate planning, contracts, and bankruptcy matters with over 60 active volunteer attorneys Halas is committed to providing legal assistance to those in need in the Greek community. The Hellenic Foundation grant will provide funding to cover filing fees for clients who would not otherwise be able to afford them, as well as administrative costs for the expansion of the Halas Clinic to the Greek and Orthodox community in the southern suburbs. The next four grants are presented to three local Greek parishes that have taken community outreach to a new level. Whether it's feeding the needy or providing a basic bicycle for transportation to someone who can't afford it, these programs provide immediate relief to those in real need and build bridges with their neighbors in the process. This is what Christian giving and fellowship are all about. And by the way, we cannot say enough about all the volunteers who help make these programs a reality. Each of you using your own set of God-given talents, whatever they may be and whatever program you may be in, to help someone else in need. Each of you lead by example and inspire all of us to do the same. St. John the Baptist Greek Orthodox Church Feed My Neighbor program has provided hot meals and bag lunches to anyone in need in the Des Plaines area since 2003. With a staff of almost 200 volunteers, last year they served and delivered 3,000 meals. The Hellenic Foundation grant will be used to expand the number of meals provided in 2023 by over 50%. St. George Greek Orthodox Church Hot Meal to Go program serves residents at the Senior Citizen Complex located across the street from St. George as well as over a thousand hot meals to those in need in the Lincoln Park community. Hot Meals to Go is run by 35 volunteers at St. George. The Hellenic Foundation grant will provide funding to help St. George expand the Hot Meals to Go program and increase the number of meals and people being served in the community. St. George Greek Orthodox Church Chicago Bike Project is an outreach ministry supported by the Greek Orthodox Metropolis of Chicago's Mustard Seed Fund which provides seed funding to ministries and programs designed to drive parish growth through evangelism, welcoming, and outreach. Its mission is to provide free bicycles, locks, helmets, maintenance, and training to those in need within the Chicagoland community. Headquartered in Lincoln Park, the volunteers range from youth ministries to neighborhood adults who gather to fix the bikes for the homeless population in Chicago, enabling those individuals greater access to food pantries, shelters, work opportunities, and church services, with the opportunity to travel at no cost. Assumption Greek Orthodox Church's Austin Community Outreach Program is currently providing free hot meals to children in need in the greater Austin community. The volunteer-run program provides meals to needy kids at the adjacent school and after-school meals at the Austin Police Station as part of a Keep the Kids Off the Street program. For many of these children, it's the only hot meal of their day. The Hellenic Foundation's grant will double the number of hot meals being provided on a monthly basis and provide continued support of up to 30 students in the after-meal program at the Austin Police Station. Before we get to our next grant award recipients, Let's take a look at how a grant award from last year was utilized for a crucial institution serving in our community. The Hellenic Foundation and the Greek American Rehab serve the same community. These are people that came here from a different country and made a better life for themselves and gave their kids and their grandkids an opportunity and a chance. And so for us to have that relationship where they can help us and we can help the community that they serve, it's just a, it's a, 
It's a wonderful fit and it's really uh, something that we continue to cherish and look forward to working with them. Hellenic Foundation has been a source and a resource for us from day one, including the bus, for instance, and the residents really do enjoy it. Post-COVID, having a bus that we're able to drive without having a CDL license has made a huge difference for the quality of life of our residents. Being able to attend the church outings that were so important to them back in the community, uh, being able to go out to breakfast, being able to take the residents to agape services or, or inclusion days or uh, St. Andrews, St. John, St. Haralambos for their bake sale it really is uh, wonderful and, and it's uh, rewarding for them because they enjoy getting back out in their community and they get to see people that they know. And uh, my father was at the St. Harry's event on uh, Friday and someone took a picture, a friend of mine, and took a picture of, of him with my dad and, and my dad had a big grin and, and it was just so nice and they were so thankful that they got a chance to see him. They like the parea, they like to get out, and it's just really important for them to go and discuss politics and then get the spasunity routina. And being here at the facility every day and breakfast and lunch, and even though we have a coffee shop here, it's not the same. Getting dressed, getting out of the building, and seeing people that you don't see on every day, it's therapeutic for them and really helps their spirit. I'm Betty Cass. I'm uh, <laughs> in my 90s. It's been wonderful living here, being part of America, and yet still being Greek Orthodox, which was very important to us. We're happy. I'm Jim Varnavas. I'm 75 years in the United States. We cannot take the bus. More people there together to go out, but it's going to be for the community and for the people who are going to be over there. Thank you very much. We would take the bus to get there. We'd be able to go on different tours, different holy places. There's so much that we could do with it. And um, it's traveling and it's being an American. Thank you so much. It is a relief in a way, but it's also a, a treasure. So thank you very much. The Greek American community in Chicago is fortunate to have the institutions and organizations that it does, which are so vital in teaching our children, caring for our elderly, leading us spiritually, and preserving our Greek culture and history. Our churches, schools, retirement homes, and museums are just some of them. Each serves a particularly critical need, and it's important that they receive our support so they continue to thrive and fulfill the needs of our community and can continue to do so for future generations. The following grants represent the Hellenic Foundation's commitment to that support. The Greek American Rehabilitation and Care Center takes in the sick and elderly of our community and provides them with restorative, skilled, and long-term health care in a safe, home-like environment regardless of their economic status. And it does so with a distinct focus on the ethnic, cultural, and spiritual needs of the Greek Orthodox community. The Hellenic Foundation grant will provide the funding to lease an Omniversa therapy system, which provides relief of pain and inflammation for their patients. Since 2015, the Chicago Greektown Educational Foundation has been supporting Greek language, education, and cultural initiatives through the introduction of technology to enhance the learning experience for Greek American youth. 
The Hellenic Foundation grant will help the Greek Classroom Technology Program in 2023. This program will provide essential technological devices such as computers, smart boards, iPads, and corresponding licenses to various Greek schools and fund a Greek teacher symposium to assist in the development and implementation of the program in the classroom. Plato Academy, founded in 1952 by the Assumption Greek Orthodox Church. Today, Plato Academy is an independent, not-for-profit school located in Des Plaines, committed to providing an affordable, stimulating, creative learning experience for its students. The Hellenic Foundation grant will provide funding for essential classroom technology, including teacher MacBooks, student Chromebooks, iPads, and an Osmo coding learning system. St. Peter and Paul Greek Orthodox Church, through its Arabi Preschool and the Church Bible Study Program, are ministries serving the St. Peter and Paul community. Both are very important to the parish and in need of technology updates in order to better serve their missions. The Hellenic Foundation grant will provide funding for technology updates to Arapi Preschool with new equipment, including a VibeSmart cam, computer, whiteboard, projector, iPads, and Cambu Parent Engagement App technology. The grant also provides funding for smart TV monitor and equipment to facilitate group Zoom meetings and help the church Bible study group keep its members engaged remotely, even when they can't attend meetings. The Aristotle Greek School at St. Haralambos Greek Orthodox Church in Niles provides Greek language classes for students in preschool through junior high. Like many schools, it is in need of some technology updates. The Hellenic Foundation is here to help. The grant will fund the purchase of three new Vibe smart boards for their classrooms. The National Hellenic Museum stands as a monument to our Greek American history, heritage, and culture in Chicago. With its remote online education program, the Hellenic Museum now provides in-depth history analysis and insights into a wide array of Greek-centric topics available to anyone everywhere in the world. The Hellenic Foundation grant will be used to fund the continuation and growth of this program. Before we get into our next group of recipients, let's look at another grant recipient from last year, the Hellenic American Academy. The Hellenic American Academy is a private dual language Greek American school. We offer classes from preschool through eighth grade and we provide the same American curriculum. We like to say we do it better though. And we also provide two periods of Greek every day for students. So STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, is something that I think is very important for students to learn. What I found is that the single greatest indicator of whether or not a student, and especially girls, is going to pursue engineering or science in college is that they enter high school wanting to be an engineer. I believe that children are born inventors and school and what we do has to continue to encourage and foster that in them so that by the time they get to high school and then college, it's what they're already interested in. We completely redid this classroom. And so what we really wanted was something very modern and very flexible. So all of the equipment, the lab tables, uh, the lab stations are all on wheels so that we can be very flexible, very modern in, in how we group and creating stations. But we also knew that we needed more state-of-the-art equipment. So we have new microscopes, new goggles, and uh, the effect has been absolutely amazing on the students. The new equipment has allowed our students to take a step away from just the virtual world that they are used to and investigating things all through the internet and allowed them to do more hands-on experiments that we were used to before. They're able to investigate this new science with microscopes and hands-on labs and experiments. Science is so cool and it's very interesting to use everything new. And I always wanted to be like an inventor. I want to be a geologist when I grow up. I just like the shape of the crystals and everything. 
I like walking outside and like thinking about all the science of everything and then I get to learn about it in class. Makes it more exciting to do it like, like with my hands instead of just reading. I come from a molecular biology background and I know how important it is for students to have science and do experiments and think critically from an early age. So having this opportunity now to do these experiments, to practice critically thinking, opens these kids' eyes and opens their minds to the world of possibilities um, in their future. I knew this classroom before we had all of this uh, beautiful equipment and it was difficult to try to make things work, but having all this equipment, the classroom must just work really nicely in here now, and I'm jealous not to be in here. <laughs> I want to thank the Hellenic Foundation for the grant. It's been an amazing opportunity, not only for them to have the equipment here, but also to be inspired by organizations in our community that give back. Our children here do a daily pledge to be worthy members of our community and we hope that by seeing other organizations doing the same thing, it'll continue to inspire them and do the same to our community in the future. I would really like to thank the Hellenic Foundation. Through this ability to use a hands-on curriculum and to have the appropriate material for it, that's what's important, and we do this year, is to be able to create students who are critical thinkers, they're problem solvers, Everything we do is very student-centered, and that's what this amazing amount of money has been able to provide for our students in our school. I want to thank the Hellenic Foundation because of all the new science equipment that we didn't have last year. I really want to say thank you because um, I love the hands-on stuff. I'm very thankful for it, so they could do donate all this stuff to our school. I'm very thankful. I don't have another word. Supporting education is very important to the Hellenic Foundation. Funding technology upgrades to our schools is one way to do it. But sometimes, however, a simple scholarship to a deserving student in need can make a big difference to the students and parents struggling with the costs of college education. There are some great organizations in our community that provide such scholarships and build fellowship among their community in the process. The following grant recipients represent the Hellenic Foundation's commitment to each of the recipients' scholarship missions in our recognition of the important role they play in building the community and promoting education in our youth. AHEPA promotes the Hellenic ideals of education, philanthropy, civic responsibility, integrity, family, and individual excellence. The AHEPA 13th District Scholarship Foundation provides scholarships to students based on academic excellence and financial need, and has to date granted over $800,000 in scholarships. The Hellenic Foundation grant will fund 10 $1,000 scholarships to deserving students demonstrating financial need from the Chicagoland area. Daughters of Penelope, the Women's Auxiliary of AHEPA, 13th District Scholarship Foundation has been organized to support education through scholarships. The Hellenic Foundation grant will fund two $1,500 scholarships to deserving students demonstrating financial need from the Chicagoland area. The Pan-Hellenic Scholarship Foundation was established in 1998 by the late Chris P. Tamaris with the goal of building a better America through education and Hellenism and now offers $250,000 in scholarships annually to deserving students. The Hellenic Foundation grant will provide funding for one $10,000 scholarship to a deserving student demonstrating financial need from the Chicagoland area. The mission of Hellenic Link Midwest is to foster and promote cooperation and fellowship among professionals residing in Greece and America, and to preserve, promote, and enrich the Hellenic heritage of its members and our Hellenic community. It promotes activities, lectures, symposia, and conferences. 
and assist students to achieve their goals through its scholarship program. The Hellenic Foundation grant will provide funding for two $2,000 scholarships and two lectures. The American College of Greece, located on a beautiful campus in Athens, offers Greek American students an excellent opportunity to study abroad and earn college credit hours while deepening their understanding of their own Greek culture. The Hellenic Foundation grant will fund one full year tuition and room and board to an academically qualified student demonstrating financial need from the Chicagoland area. From creative and dynamic programs that teach kids a broad spectrum of Greek history to thought-provoking conferences of clergy and medical professionals to simply hosting a mentorship dinner, the next three grant awards demonstrate how education and building fellowship can work hand in hand across many generations. AHEPA Chapter 205 has taken AHEPA's mission of promoting Hellenic ideals to education to another level with its Midwest Hellenic History Tournament. Held annually since 2014, this tournament is open to all students in grades 8 through 12. Three member teams answer questions from a single book about Greek history and culture from the prehistoric and archaic periods through the formation of the modern Greek state following World War II. The students compete for cash prizes, a trip to the finals at the AHEPA convention, and the thrill of learning about their Greek culture. The Hellenic Foundation grant will help grow this tournament by funding increased cash prizes, develop marketing and promotional materials to expand its audience and contestant pool, and also providing travel assistance to the winning teams to attend the National Hellenic History Tournament at the annual AHEPA convention. OCAMPER, Orthodox Christian Association of Medicine, Psychology, and Religion, is a fully volunteer-led organization whose members are practicing care professionals and pastors, organized to sustain and expand their vision of Orthodox education and fellowship, to foster interdisciplinary dialogue, and to promote Christian fellowship among professionals in medicine, psychology, and religion. They seek to understand and experience the best relationship between theology and the healing arts and sciences. The Hellenic Foundation grant will be used to fund the costs for their annual conference with speakers from the field of medicine, psychology, and religion, as well as workshops and paper presentations. The Pan-Hellenic Scholarship Foundation, building on its existing scholarships program, has identified a need to provide continued mentorship internship and networking opportunities to its scholarship alumni. The Alumni Reunion Weekend helps fulfill that need. The weekend reunion includes a mentorship dinner, providing an opportunity for alumni, undergraduates, and young professionals to meet and talk with mentors and board members, helping integrate young professionals into the business and professional community. The Hellenic Foundation grant will be used to host and pay the expenses of the mentorship dinner program. Earlier this evening, we recognized the need to keep young people engaged with the church as they transition to adulthood. Existing programs like Fanari, Lighthouse, which you saw earlier, and OCF are all designed to address that concern. We think the next two grant awards may represent the fruits of those programs. Orthodox Alumni Association at University of Illinois, Urbana OCF, Nika House is the largest and most active OCF in the country and the only one with its own living meeting facility, Nika House. Students regularly visit Nika House to study, watch movies, play board games, bake and cook, and hold weekly Bible studies. The Hellenic Foundation grant will help fund the costs of OCF students' needs at Nika House, including security, computer and related tech equipment, as well as furniture and decor, and to fund a sports recreation and faith-based program. OCF Chicago, an affiliate of Orthodox Christian Fellowship, is a youth-based ministry focused on local college students and their continued involvement in Orthodoxy. The goal of OCF Chicago is to address two problems. One, the absence of a centralized Chicago college ministry that includes each OCF chapter in the city, and two, the lack of continuing Orthodox education and fellowship programs 
for college-age youth. The Hellenic Foundation grant will be used to fund a program addressing those problems. With the grant, OCF Chicago will host monthly retreats for Orthodox college students, including the Chicago OCF chapters of Loyola, DePaul, University of Chicago, Northwestern, U of I Chicago, and North Park University. Let's take a look. OCF, Orthodox Christian Fellowship. This is a significant ministry within the Orthodox Church. Many times in, in college, it, it can feel very isolating. You're in a new environment, and so there's kind of different possibilities that are made available for you to bond with people to make these friendships. They just so... I totally get it. I totally get it. <laughs> They're throwing things at me. <laughs> <laughs> Christ revealed himself as the Son of God to his disciples. And ever since then, every generation has passed that down. And we are the inheritors of that beautiful pearl. And that pearl is the news of the resurrection of Christ and that we have been saved from death and that we are forgiven and that we can have eternal life. And for me, that gives me hope that my life has meaning and it's really important for students to know that their life also has meaning, that they mean something to the world and that they mean more than anything, they mean everything to God. Why is this important? Why does it need to be something that is orthodox or even within the church at all? Why can't you just join simply another fraternity to fight this loneliness or to find meaning and purpose? Well, because orthodoxy itself is our very way of life. It's not something you can just take a break from or leave or depart from, but it's something that needs to continue to be nurtured and that needs to grow. And so this opportunity to come together and pray and, and to know other orthodox Christians, to know that other people are also struggling to find the faith, are also struggling within the faith, to pray, to fast, to attend church regularly. These are all very real struggles that we find as Orthodox Christians, but especially with our college students. Orthodoxy is a way of life and it helps people to serve their true purpose, which is to fulfill the teachings of Christ. And OCF serves as that way to keep in touch with the faith to meet other people who are also just as passionate. When I first came to college and moved to Chicago, I was kind of nervous because I didn't really have like a group of people and I feel like it's so much easier to meet and befriend people that are in like the same religion as you and have the same beliefs as you. And so I didn't want to stray away from that because I've met some of my best friends through the church and through orthodoxy. So when I found OCF at DePaul, it was kind of like a relief I felt like that I can finally like be with people that understand me in like a deeper level. And so I think that's why it's really important. So we all don't stray away from our faith because at this age, it's really easy to do. OCF Chicago is, is a new initiative that's been made uh, possible by the Hellenic Foundation and their generous donation of really comprising and um, bringing together the different OCF chapters within Chicago. And they now kind of free up this burden from our college students, allowing them to get together more freely, uh, to visit different churches and monasteries and have opportunities for fellowships, all through their generosity and uh, care for this ministry. It's a place where we can all grow together. I know here I have grown in my faith so much and everyone pushes you to be a better Orthodox Christian. They encourage you to go to church. They encourage you to go to like Paraklesi services. They encourage you to go to events like this. And I know the cost of transportation is gonna help a lot and also food. We're, we're just college kids. <laughs> like it's hard to afford some things. So it will be really nice to know that money is not a problem, that we want you to be here 
because we want you to be here. We want you to grow in your faith with all of us and just get to know each other. Words can't describe my gratitude to the Hellenic Foundation for all of their support. And it has been a true joy working with Peter, with Kathy, with the entire crew at Hellenic Foundation. We are so excited to begin this ministry and without you, this could not be possible. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. May God bless you and, and, and grant you abundant blessings. The Hellenic Foundation not only supports our community through the awarding of grants, but also by creating initiatives such as the Hellenic Foundation Golden Circle. Recognizing the need for socialization in our senior citizen community, our board approved the funding of Golden Circle because it focused on enabling parishes to take senior group bus outings to other parishes, events, museums, and more, and we reimburse it. As of today, 23 parishes have signed up for the Hellenic Foundation's Golden Circle program. Now please enjoy a short video of the inaugural trip taken by the parishioners of the St. Demetrius Greek Orthodox Church of Chicago, where the excitement of those participating is evident. This opportunity that the Hellenic Foundation has provided, I think opens a world of possibilities for seniors. It just changes their whole outlook on life. To give them another opportunity for them to go to another parish is, is fantastic for them. I mean, they would jump to do this like every single day if it was offered to them. I'm very convinced of that. Yeah, I have it up here. Well, I'm just, no, I have the list up here. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, maybe 31 people. You know what? We're going to fill that bus up. The Metropolitan's coming. The Golden Circle has enabled our community to get out, to broaden their horizons in visiting other churches and other places. It's so important for our senior citizens to remain engaged not only with their physical, biological families, but also the church family and the greater church family and community. They would not be here tonight if it was not for the Hellenic Foundation through the vehicle, literally the vehicle, of Golden Circle, working together for the Greek Orthodox Christians in the Chicago area. Our first outing has been a huge success with over 30 participants. And of course, you know what will happen. Other people will hear the word, the word will spread, and hopefully we'll even double that number our next outing. We are truly blessed and thankful. Tonight we have a group that came from St. Demetrius, Chicago. Thanks to the support of the Hellenic Foundation, our parishes are able to organize these group trips to various churches to visit on a vespers or a feast day or a festival, whatever uh, is going on in our broader Chicago and area. Parishes have the ability to get some special funding to organize these special trips. So please, and it's nice to be brothers and sisters together, to be together in this beautiful space, to come and worship the one true God together. So please, as you go back to your own parishes, please speak to your priests and ask them to look at the calendar and to see what churches are celebrating in the next few weeks and months and throughout the entire year. God bless you all. Good Having activities like this that will increase the parishioners to come in and, and enjoy 
the, our community, the family, the spirit of being in that family and to bond. And the, the ride here on the bus, that they were just happy, joyous, uh, joking around, kidding around. They were so happy to have this opportunity to love one another, to listen to God's word, to Jesus Christ, and, and live through that example. That is, that is wonderful. Being here, listening to God's words, and just taking it all in for a moment in silence, it was the best feeling I ever felt. What an evening, what an evening we had. It was That's wonderful. Right. Yes, it was. Thank you so much, Hellenic Foundation, for this very generous donation, as you can see. Everybody has such a wonderful, wonderful time. This is fantastic. Thank you so very, very much. The golden circle of the Hellenic Foundation is just that. Ine Thisavros Kiklos. It is a treasure that brings all of us together, includes everyone as one big family in our heritage and in our faith. Thank you so much. I would like to thank everyone who participated in making tonight's program a success, as well as all of you for taking the time to watch. I hope you have not only found it entertaining, but also enlightening. I also want to extend my most sincere congratulations to all our grantees. If you are interested in hearing more information about our grantees, please visit our website and follow along on social media. Before we say good night, on behalf of our board, tonight's program is dedicated to past president and board member, Peter Faseas. Peter's service on the board lasted 47 years, from 1975 to 2022, where he dedicated himself to promoting the mission of the Hellenic Foundation. His wise guidance and philanthropic spirit was an example for all. Peter will surely be missed. May his memory be eternal.